Hi everybody, Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. One of the most spectacular venues in football. A live look in now as the players on both sides going through final preparations, making sure all the swag is lined up just right because you want to look good if you're playing in the AT&T Cotton Bowl. Thanks for joining us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Now let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for all the action. We'll see you at the half. Fans have packed a house in anticipation of this bowl game, the AT&T Cotton Bowl. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke tastes, zero calories. Enjoy everything. We're ready to get this one underway as the teams are lined up for the opening kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Six yard line. The Tigers always have guys that are near the top statistically, and that's no exception today. We're really looking forward to watching this kid play. From their own 36 yard line, it's first down. Here he goes, and the safety with the interception. The 10. Touchdown, Aggies. And he converts the extra point. Texas a and Kick this one off. It's fielded at the two. So the offense will come back out onto the field, hoping for a little better result than that last pick six. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off the of mistakes. And they get nice yardage on that run. So the quarterback keeps it for about seven yards. It's second down and about three yards. Ball on the 30-yard line. Handoff on the draw. They'll bring him down at the 31. A one-yard gain by the halfback. The sophomore just stuck it to the ball carrier right there. That's a very good tackle.
fights forward to about the 33. And that brings up fourth down. Great stop by the defense. They played with tremendous character on those downs. Gaither is waiting for the snap. Tackle made at the 35. They're ready to begin another drive. Texas A&M is up a score. He's scrambling, runs with it, and he's got room. A good quarterback knows when and how to improvise. And if he's got the skills, he can also turn a scramble into something big. It's first and ten. Ball on the 46. Complete brought down. Nothing doing. Scrambling around. Slides down. So the keeper goes for about seven yards. That'll make it third and one. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. And they make the stop at about the 29-yard line. How about that conversion on third down? Good push here by the guys up front, and they are really starting to work hard in the trenches. Yard line. Good job by the defense to overpower the offensive line and drop the back for a loss. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball on the 30. He's got it with room to run. Out of bounds at the 26. How about that play? That's a good pickup there. He just dropped back and delivered a nice throw. Texas A&M up seven points. Look at his scramble now. He can't get away from the pressure. It's fourth down. So the kicker comes out. He'll try to put three points on the board. Texas A&M can make this a two-possession game with this field goal. It has the distance. <laughs> the upright and through. He got it. Thomas has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 27-yard line. Got to give some applause to the defense. They really came out playing strong today. Well, you know better than me, Brad. It, this college football game is about emotion. And to be able to play great defense in the college game, you've got to come out and play with your hair on fire. And we've seen that from both of these defenses so far. They need to show a little giddy-up now because if they don't start eating into this deficit, they could easily fall out of the game. Throws out to the back, and he can't hold out of it. Second and ten. Ball on the 27-yard line.
The defense has everybody on the line. I think they're going to come after this one. Gets to about the 44-yard line. You know, a lot of people in college football might find these types of games boring, but you look at the start of this game, this is good old-fashioned football, partner. I agree with you, Brad. I think sometimes you look at games, and if it's sloppy offense, that's one thing. But when you see two defenses go out and play with a great deal of emotion and dominate a football game, sign me up for that every time. The quarterback leads the offense back out out of the field as we get set to resume play. They'll get him for a loss. Well, this is the kind of play you want to see if you're a defensive player because not only is it a negative play, but this can really impact and affect the emotion of the game. Just looking down and looking at the energy on the field and even on the sidelines, you can see that the defense is fired up after that play. From their own 43-yard line, second down. He's taken down at the 45-yard line. the 32-yard line. From the 32-yard line. First down. Tackle around the 29-yard line. That's good for a gain of three yards. That will make it second and seven. They bring him down for a sack on the play. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. He found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 22. is it the defender had it and then dropped it well the offense catches a break here that ball should have been intercepted there by the safety so the quarterback gets the ball back here for this next down kicks away no good he missed it to the right They were forced to punt the ball away the last time they had it. They'll be looking for a little more out of their offense on this possession. They've been beaten soundly on both sides of the ball, and we haven't even gotten to the second quarter. He's going to try and scramble. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. And he's tackled at the 48. Hey, sometimes the defense does everything right, and they still lose. That time they had tight coverage, which left no options other than for the quarterback to take off. From the 48-yard line, first down. We've reached the end of one. Texas A&M's got a 10-point lead. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. Gains his way to the 40-yard line. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. He's at the 30, brought down at the 28-yard line. Yard 
So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. The 10. That's a great tackle at the four-yard line. And for Anderson, that carry puts him over the 1,000 mark for rushing yards this year. This kid is a super athlete. I mean, he could play anywhere. Tailback, wide receiver. He just happens to be blessed with a rocket launcher for an arm. What more can you say? He's sensational. Diving for extra yardage. From the one-yard line, it's second down. Touchdown, Memphis! This kid is a really reliable weapon. You definitely want the football in his hands near the end zone, and he showed you why right there. Here's the point after to try to cut this to a three-point game. He makes the PAT. Ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Texas A&M holds a field goal lead. Nice run, and he's brought down. Second and six coming up here. Ball on their own 29. And he's taken down right around the 38-yard line. tries to buy some time. They'll bring him down at the 45. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Randall gets a ball left side, and he shoved out of bounds at the 49. And we'll take a break while the injured player is attended to. Seven yards on that delay. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. And he can't get away from the pressure. Texas A&M is up a field goal. He delivers. Caught by the sophomore, and they make the stop around the 13-yard line. It definitely put them in better field position. I just have a feeling that they're going to punch it into the end zone on this drive. Now it's first and 10 with the defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass. Fights forward to about the 13. Horton gains about a yard on the play. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Touchdown, AM. He 
Davis put his eyes on that end zone and ran with some real purpose there. And he adds the extra point. So the Aggies had one of their key players go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the lineup. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Sutton fields it at the two. And he has it on the corner. He gets hit out of bounds. Around the 37-yard line. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Quick pass. And down he goes around the 47-yard line. It's second down now. They're just a few feet away from that first down marker. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Gonna run and watch out. Decides to slide. Second down, and they're gonna need about three yards to pick up the first down. Makes the catch and look out. It's on the ground. Offense falls on. Spectacular play, and now it's first and goal. Close one there. Maybe the ball carrier will try a little harder to secure the ball next time. And he's stopped behind the line. This guy's out of the stance so quickly that he's really a nightmare to try to block, as they found out right here on this play. We've got second and goal. Ball on the 10-yard line. He makes it out to maybe the 10-yard line. Touchdown, Tigers! I like how the quarterback, the offensive line, and the receivers made a concerted effort to get into the end zone. Trying to get within a field goal. They'll try the point after. And he converts the extra point. Memphis gets set to kick this one away. He'll return it from the one. Across the 30. And down he goes to the 36-yard line. Boy, the two offensive coordinators have to be loving this. In fact, you can look over at our booth next to us and see how much they're enjoying it with the big smile on their face. The defensive coordinators, on the other hand, might be looking for a pink slip on Monday. The offense was able to punch it in the end zone on that last drive. They'll come back out looking for more of the same. So much of the passing game is about the timing between the quarterback and his wide receivers. And right now with this offense, they are in sync, and really the timing and execution is flawless. From their own 47-yard line, it's first down. Texas A&M has a three-point lead. Fights forward to about the 49. Texas A&M's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Complete. He's got room. He's out of bounds right around midfield. That makes it 37. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 43.
Downs a complete to the halfback over the middle. And he tackles him hard at the 43. So we'll probably get one last heave to the end zone here before halftime. This one's going to get intercepted. We've still got a half of football remaining. Texas A&M's lead is five. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. We've been looking forward to this game all week and it has lived up to billing. A close game. You feel like that it's going to be a great second half and boy, we've got the perfect guys in the booth. What a reward today for Nestler and Herb Street to get this game. But you know, it's not a secret, Reese. They get the best game every week that we think's on the schedule, right? So they got this game. It's great. It's close. It's going back and forth. I mean, what a treat to watch one of the best games of the year just unfolding in front of us. And more importantly, to hear the silky smooth sounds of Kirk Herbstreet and Brad Nessler. Does it get any better? Looking forward to seeing this second half. I think there's certainly a want for victory. A want and a need for victory. Some teams need this victory, Reese Davis. Want, need, got to go get it either way. Brad and Kirk are there to deliver. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Makes it out to about the 39. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 39-yard line. Throws it to cover. He just picked off. He's taken down at the 46-yard line. That was perfect coverage against a pretty good route. He was all over that pass. Seven yard line. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. There he goes. He's pushed out of bounds at the 25. So the option play gets some big yards right there. Yeah, you know, it's amazing how sometimes this guy is able to find the hole and get through. Makes it to the eight. They've obviously found the formula for moving the ball against this defense. Let's see if any adjustments are made before their backs are really against the wall. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. He makes it out to maybe the seven-yard line. Route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. 
The kicker will stay on the sidelines for this extra point as the offense is going to stay on the field and try to make this a three-point game. Memphis with a one-point lead. They got it. A nice five-play, 46-yard drive. And they add eight to the scoreboard after that successful two-point conversion. Brad, I thought that was a textbook thrust. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Tigers continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. The offense comes out to start this drive, and they're hoping for a better result as they threw a pick on their last possession. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. From their own 26-yard line, Second down. In the shotgun and five wideouts. He's scrambling. Tackle at the 35. That makes it first and ten. To the run game and this time he's met immediately good job by the defense to overpower the offensive line and drop the back for a loss from their own 33 yard line it's second down he steps out around the 36 yard line out of bounds the 37 yard line Thomas awaits the snap and he can't hang on to the ball and he just got stood up right there Offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. And he makes it out to about the 31-yard line. From their own 31-yard line. Second down. Memphis is up by three. Brought down. 27-yard line. Good discipline here by the defense, stringing the option out and plugging the running lanes. That moved them back. Screen pass. He's got his half back. Tackle made at the 32-yard line. Gaither is the putter. Horton takes it at the 32, brought down at the 41. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. He's tackled at the 44-yard line. From their own 44-yard line. Second down. Easy, easy. And he's taken down right around the 48-yard line. Gets out to about the 45-yard line. 
makes it second and eight. It's second down and eight. Ball on the 45. Quick throw. They'll bring him down at the 40. From the 29-yard line, first down. Trying to get it to the tight end, but it falls to the ground. The receiver needed to get a step or two further into his route to have any chance of snagging that pass. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Now he's scrambling. And they make the stop at the 29-yard line. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Toss is left. Intercepted. That is exactly the kind of play you want to see from a safety. He needs to be able to read the play and then make the interception. From their own 13-yard line, first down. Memphis is up a field goal. Here's the halfback on the screen. Knocked out of bounds, right around the 20. That's a great tackle at the 29. That's three down and one to go. The Tigers with a three-point lead. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Mike's 50, Mike's 50. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And down he goes around the 48-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 48. to fit it in there and it'll be intercepted he's at the 40 he's at the 30 to the 20 the 10 touchdown and they take the lead how about the play by the defender that was a great interception and an even better effort to bring the ball back for a touchdown the PAT. Texas A&M is lining up to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. Tackle made at the 18-yard line. Right, this has been a great game to watch. A lot of competitive spirit out there. The offenses seem to be going up and down the field. Back and forth we go. I think the winner will be which defense can make that pivotal stop to secure a victory. So the offense will come back out onto the field hoping for a little better result than that last pick six. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off the mistakes. Quick release, tight end, incomplete. From their own 18-yard line. 
It's second down. Swings it out there incomplete. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Looks middle, got his back. He tackles him for a loss. Loss of two. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. Gaither is waiting for the snap. Horton takes it at the 45, and he makes it out to about the 44-yard line. And for Herring, it's been a rough night. Right now, the defensive pressure flat out is causing these turnovers. When you're a defensive coordinator, you want to always try to get your defense to pin their ears back and put pressure on the quarterback. When you do that, you're going to create opportunities. He can't be thrilled with how he's played so far, but this is still a close contest with a lot left to be decided. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Texas A&M is up by four. He's got it out to his tight end. Out of bounds, the 42-yard line. It's second and eight. Ball on the 42-yard line. Run to the outside. That's a D5 on the ground. That makes it third and three. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. From the 32 yard line, it's first down. it off. Gets out to about the 31. That's a game of one on the play. That makes it second and eight. Second down. Eight yards to go. Ball on the 31. You know, the safety's responsibility, Brad, is to always make sure nothing is going to get behind him. You cannot ever get beat deep. But also, he has a responsibility to step up and make a play on the football in front of him. It's just another example of a defensive back, in this case, a safety, just having really good instincts to be able to come up and know when to come up to knock that ball away. He goes out of bounds around the 23-yard line. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. Texas a and holds a four-point lead. And they got him for a loss. And the defense comes through. Now they went with a toss play here, but no one on that defensive side of the ball was fooled. you got to give them credit for making a great play. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. to buy some time. He's tackled at about the 35. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Aaron and out long. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. Taken down around the 38-yard line. 
from their own 38-yard line. First down. He gets out to about the 38-yard line. He's out of bounds at the 42. And so it's another third down upcoming here. And a quick throw. Tackle at the 48-yard line. Just under three to go in regulation. He's hit before he can go anywhere. They're about four yards away here on second down. And he is drilled at the 40-yard line. We're at play number nine of this current drive. him up and he shoved out of bounds around the 32 yard line first and ten ball on the 32 over the middle to his tailback and he'll get him in the backfield Here's the 11th play of the drive. You ain't going nowhere. Mike 51, Mike 51. Set. Blue line. He steps out at the 25 yard line. The defense gets their fourth chance to make a stop here on third down. play and it's going to be first and goal. This is the 13th play of this drive. A little over a minute in the game. And he tackles him hard at the two. The Tigers taking their first time out of the half. It's second and goal. Ball on the two. And he's level at the two-yard line. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. We've watched this guy play, and over the course of his college career, he's made some spectacular tackles. Nice play. He's going to try and scramble, and he's going to be sacked for a loss. Defense stiffens on fourth down, and the ball will change hands. Well, the defense was waiting on that one. They've seen plays like that all season long. They came up with a great stop. So not a lot of time left, and they've got an opportunity right now, if they score, to put the nail in the coffin in this game. They bring him down in the backfield. He just never had a chance to get any running room. The defense was on him almost as soon as the ball was snapped. They line up at the six. Second down. Brought down at the eight. He gains a couple of yards on the carry.
So that's going to do it. Our final score in this one, Texas A&M 26, Memphis 22. So what are your final thoughts on this one, Kirk? I'm sad to see this one in because it was a great game to watch. Memphis played a good game out there, but they needed to make one or two more big plays, and they couldn't do it. Who knows? Another couple of minutes, and this one may have gone the other way. And for Chance, his efforts today have earned him player of the game. For Texas A&M, they keep steamrolling along, picking up their 12th win of the season.